Hi y'all, it's me. I am back with part two of this big haul I did this weekend. I am not going to be shopping for a little bit because I have way too much stuff that I got this weekend and I still have um, some things coming in the mail that I haven't received yet, but that's another story. Um, but the first uh, one I'm going to share with you is from the actual scrapbook store. Uh, we use their crop room, it holds about 50 or so people to have our event and um, we were able to do the cropping and then walk out the door to the next door and right into their store, which we spent a lot of time in, all of us. Um, we did some major damage between all of us. <laughs> so that was interesting. Um, the best thing was for me, uh, my best friend Candy had not gone to this event, but she surprised me. She had them um, give me a gift from her, an early birthday present. My birthday's in December, but she knows that I love this store and that I would probably want to spend money, which I spent what she gave me and beyond. But she had them um, give me this gift certificate for $100, and I thought that was so sweet. So thank you, Candy. Um, this was so special. Thank you so much for that. So I spent that and more. <laughs> so let me just start by showing you what I got. Now remember, these are a scrapbook store, so the prices are not sale prices or anything. It's just what they are. And you have to accept that when you go to a scrapbook store. So I picked up Sugar Plum Christmas. I think this is such a pretty collection with the pastels. Um, Photoplay's been coming out with some cute stuff. This was $15.99. And, you know, it has the paper and the and the sticker sheet in it. So I got that. Um, Jamie, who was one of the attendees of our crop, went to the Simple Stories crop that they have once a year. And she showed us a book with some projects that they were doing using this collection, which is the Vin Vintage Essentials color palette. And I just thought it was so pretty. And I didn't want a ton of it, but I did want to get some of it just because it looks so nice in the projects that they were used on. And so that's how the sticker sheet looks. And then the papers, you can obviously see them here on the front. Super pretty. Um, let's see, what else do I have here? I think I picked up some loose paper sheets. I did. Um, these were a clearance sale. I don't remember how much they were. Uh, they were on the, you know, the clearance department. But this is the Simple Vintage Dear Santa, which is one of my all-time favorites. In fact, he was the mascot of my whole her collections that I created with was him. Um, just adorable Santa. And that's the back side of the tags, which I love that they do this. I think it's so cool that they have grids and whatnot on them. So I got two of those. Um, I picked up this one here, which is also the Dear Santa cut apart, and it has that on the background. This collection you can't hardly find anymore. I have the digital, um, so I got two of those. Um, they also had this one. And I picked two of these up as well. They're the cut apart three by fours, and that's the back. And then I found these. I wish I'd found a paper pack or something else, but oh well. <laughs> I picked up two of these because they had them, so I went ahead and grabbed them to add to my stash of what I have of that collection. Um, the next thing I picked up, and it's so cute, this is the Lawn Fawn Candy Cane Lane paper pack. And it's with gold foiling. This was kind of pricey at $10, but it is so cute. And I just really love it. And I love the gold foiling on the stripes. It looks so nice. Um, it's just a nice touch. And you've got all these petite prints mixed in, which are super cute as well. So I went ahead and grabbed that. Um, let's see. I'm trying to keep stuff together. I did pick up some of this... Minte collection because Minte just is amazing these days with all of their. I'm trying to see if I got anything else in this collection before I bring it out here. Um, it's called Mary and Joy, and again, it's the pastel colors, so pretty. It's double sided, which I love, and there's a lot of cute little cut aparts in here. You can fussy cut more. Like I said, it's double-sided, and I know it repeats at some point, but anyhow, that's that's it there. So I went ahead and got this. This was 10 bucks. I picked up the 6 by 8 or excuse me, 6 by 6 of the same thing. 
just smaller prints and different papers than what you saw in that other booklet. It's so beautiful. Look at that storefront and the background of this. It's so lovely. It has cut aparts and just all, and it's also double sided too, which is special. And it repeats itself as well. And then to go with that, I got that was also, how much was this one? Eight bucks. This one is the ephemera pack that goes with this collection. And I just think it's so pretty. These were 10 bucks, however, but still pretty. <laughs> Their, their die cuts are lovely. The cuts are so beautiful. So that was that. Next, I picked up some... Let's see. I got some Holly Jolly stuff. Um, Simple Vintage Holly Jolly from Simple Stories. I did have that on order um, from Frank Garcia. So I already have... That's part of this haul that I'm going to share with you in just a minute. I'm just making sure I didn't miss anything else in here for this collection. Um, so I picked up, well, this is not part of that one. Hold on. This is it. Um, this is part of the Simple Stories Holly Jolly, Vintage Holly Jolly. These are the rub-ons. These were $6.49. Um, I picked up a sticker book, which I also got one from Frank Garcia because I just knew I love the sticker books as they are. So this one was um, $3.39. Oh, this is not Holly Jolly. This is the Dear Vintage Santa. Oh, that's the other one. I didn't get a sticker book. That's from the Vintage Santa. That was a good deal. Um, from the Holly Jolly, however, the other things I got was this ephemera pack, which I already have ordered from Frank, $5.49. This one here, another ephemera pack, $5.49. And this one here. This is so cute, this collection. It's so Santa vintagey cute. Um, so I had to had to have that. This was um in the clearance for $4.79. It's the Christmas Spectacular. Um, these are little um cinch bound booklets that you can add your ephemera and decorations to and decorate them yourself, which I thought was really cute. So I went ahead and grabbed that. Um, let's see. Sorry, I'm trying to... I picked up... Oh, this goes with that Christmas collection from Photoplay. <coughs> Excuse me. Sugar Plum Christmas. The ephemera pack was $5.00. Um, I got the floral bits because I thought it matched that collection. This is from Simple Stories Crafty Things, but I think it looks cute with this, and it's five forty nine. dollars <coughs> Excuse me. I'm so sorry. <coughs> I'm having a choking fit here. Um, from 49 in Market, I picked up two things. I got these um, word pack. It comes with, you know, little word strips and then word cutouts $6.99 and it's so pretty and it's just traditional colors so it can be used with any traditional collection and this is the ephemera kit pack and it comes with so much stuff in here you guys envelopes and tabs and photo slides and all kinds of ephemera bits it's nine dollars but you get um 119 pieces in here it's well worth that to me so I grabbed that. Um, I picked up some Dear Santa washi tape too. Someone hand it or no, this is Mary and Bright, but it has that Santa on it from oh, it is a simple vintage Dear Santa. So it matches the the paper collection. I don't have the washi, so um I picked up some um baker's twine. Sorry it's a mess, but it's a green, pink, and red and orange. You get it by the yard. It's May Arts, and it's like 19 cents a yard, and I always grab a little bit of it. I have to wind it on some cards or something. And then they had this beautiful thin trim of gold color, and it's just so pretty. I thought it would be a nice accent to add to a page or something. Um, and then finally, to round off this bag, I got the oh, the whole collection of the In My Craft Room by Minte Papers. It is just lovely in person. I knew it was pretty on camera, but it's lovely in person. 
um, you get all these gorgeous prints in here. And I really don't want to open it right now because this video is going to be too long as it is. But you can see some of the images here. And if you get a chance, search for it online um, just so you could look at all the images. They're gorgeous. And as crafters, we all love crafting. I don't think many of us do albums of our craft room and I want to do an album of my craft room. This is the place that makes me happiest. Um, I love being in here. I love the things around me in here and I want to document that and I want to have a booklet of it. So I, I picked up that. I did also pick up the six by eight that goes with it. The papers are a little different in here than what you see, but they are also double sided. Um, let me kind of go this way just to give you a kind of an idea of what the theme of this. It's a more of a shabby chic, um, craft roomy kind of thing, but oh, so cute. Um, and then you, of course, get double prints. I picked up the ephemera pack. That This one was, well, this one was, I didn't tell you. This one was $17. This one was $10. This is $10 as well, and it's the ephemera pack. You get 60 in here and it's so cute all of those elements so I got that I picked up this other um, elements paper pack it's 27 pieces ten dollars you get the envelopes and other tags and other pieces in there super cute I got the six by six because yeah why not I already got everything else so why not the six by six and that was $7.49 and then the last two items I picked up from this collection was the sticker sheet right here. I think it's so cute. It's one-sided only. These were $4.99, kind of pricey. Um, this one was also $4.99, but it goes with the collection. And since my best friend kept gifted me, I thought I would treat myself to that something special. So that's all that I got from that store. But now I also have more to share with you because it's not over yet. I got some orders in while I was away. Um, like I said, I'm not doing no shopping for a while here. Um, but I got some orders while I was away. Now, mind you, this order from Frank Garcia, I ordered it back on July 7th. And there was a holdup because of the Paige Evans Halloween collection. We were later told that some of those papers weren't even going to be in print any longer. And he was only able to get some of them and the rest wouldn't be shipped till mid-October. So my whole order sat there for whole, all that time. And then finally I just said, you know what, just credit me back that and I will just take what you have and send to me my box. Which he did. And he was very nice about it, giving me a refund and all that. And um, So what I picked up and what I got from the Paige Evans collection I only got a few items but nonetheless let's see sorry hold on I've got bags everywhere at the moment so what I was able to get from him were two sheets of paper this one and this one these were the only two because this collection didn't come in a pad you had to buy all the individual sheets of paper so I was able to get these two I was able to get this uh, ephemera pack right here it's like half fall and half halloween it's super cute like that um this one here which is the ephemera pack of trick and treats it's so cute they're so cute i'm glad i got these they're hard to find this stuff and i picked up the thickers that goes with tricks and treats and the alphabets are so tiny so you have the printed which are super cute that match the collection then you have the iridescent and on the back, it's the reverse iridescent and printed rest of the alphabet because these only go up to O and the, the rest of the alphabet's on that side. So that was from that collection. That was all I was able to. Oh, no, I lied. I was able to get the puffy stickers as well. So I picked those up. I wish this would have gone better for Paige. I feel kind of sorry for her that it got done the way it did. But oh, well, what are you going to do, right? Um, okay, so the next thing I want to show you from Frank, I picked up this Minte. They have these Halloween book, Christmas book, birthday celebration book. There's all kind of books. Um, and basically all it is, it's a six by eight pad that has nothing but die cuts. And on the back of the die cuts, there's printed image. So you don't just have a bare back. 
but these kind of were kind of funky cute and I'm not always into the scary looking but I kind of thought these were kind of on the cute scary side so I went ahead and ordered them but it is fussy cutting and if you don't like to fussy cut then this I wouldn't suggest but the Christmas ones are great all of them are great so if you get a chance to grab one I would do it I think Frank sold out of this however and I think he sold out of the Christmas one too but I'm not a hundred percent so go check his uh his site um the next thing I want to share with you is this um I got Frank's collection um 25 and peppermint I picked just up the eight by eight pad and of course you know you get a lot of uh sheets of the same sheet of paper and I love that these are scaled down on the 8x8 eight eight, so this will be perfect for me this is so lovely this one this would make a nice cover to an 8x8 eight eight album um that one they're double-sided as you can see also that's the gingerbreads there's another cut apart one the numbers That one was Snowman and Tree. This one would also be a cute album cover. And then there's this one, which is very eclectic looking. And that's that. So that's the um, 8x8 pad. I picked up the tag pad as well. And in here you get multiples as well of the tags. And they're, I'll just kind of flip through them. They're so cute. They match so good to the collection. And it's always nice to have these. And if you need to, you can cut them apart, like um, cut aparts as well, you know, or not cut aparts, um, ephemera. If you need to cut out, you know, pieces to tuck here and there. So that's that. So that's super cute. And then I got the puffy stickers to go with it. So that's what I picked up of Frank's collection. Um, this I was so excited to get my hands on because it's brand new from Sizzix and 49 and Market. They collaborated and they came up with this stamp die set and it has tickets that are like um, with friends, my favorite, oh my heart, so thankful, best ever, thank you, grateful, very, what's that, very best, favorite, friends, and then these different grids and then oh my heart, oh happy day, the very best and gratitude. What I love about this, aside the fact that it comes with dies, is that um, the way that they put these together, it's so awesome. If you look at some samples for this collection, it's so amazing what you can do with this. They were pricey, 25 bucks, but you get the stamp and die, so it's not that bad really. And these will be used over and over again forever. You know, they're not, they're timeless in other words. Um, and then lastly, the last collection and the last thing I share with you today is the Simple Vintage Holly Jolly. I got the 12 by 12 and of course you know it comes with all the cut apart sheets and the sticker sheets and all that stuff and it's just so cute and vintagey. There's that cute Santa again. The reindeers are super cute. I love all the words and whatnot. Um, I also picked up the sticker book for that collection. And this one is the Holly Jolly one. I, I thought the other one was, but it's this one. And it comes with just so, so many cute things in here. It's always good to have the sticker book because you can make ephemera yourself. I love this Santa in the chair. It's so cute. Um, I picked up the another pack of this. Well, I picked up the other one at the store, the other store. But... I got that. I got another this one and another this one. I got the chipboard uh, pieces, which are really cute as well. It's one-sided. And then I picked up another. Is this? Oh, this one goes. Oh, this one goes with the 25 and peppermint. This is the ephemera pack for uh, Frank's collection. I grabbed that one. And then last thing to share is the binder for this collection. I wanted to have the binder. Um, I'm going to open it because I want to show you what's in here. This is a snap binder. And the good thing about the snap binders is that they come with pages inside, which are really helpful if you want to do some easy Christmas 
crafting and I'm not done. I thought I was done. I have something else to show you after this. So you get this um, inside. There's this bingo card, your December calendar, a wish list. How cute is it? So cute. So this could be a December daily and it would be perfect, actually. The time card, how cute. My favorites. Um, what else is in here? I don't really know what was all in here now until I'm looking at it with you. Look at how cute this is. Has some little, and what I love is the page sizes are different. That's really cool. Yeah, this is this would be a great December daily. Oops, sorry, this thing is in the way. These are D rings, which are nice too. That's that one, Holly Jolly. The back of that one, and then this one's a pocket. And then you have your page protection sheets if you want to add those in. So you get the, you know, different multiple kinds. You don't just get one style. You get several of each style. This is two larger pictures here. So super good deal for this binder. And like I said, I I do want to do a holly jolly, you know, whole thing. So I figured why not have the book too. So now I have one last thing to show you. <laughs> I forgot about this last thing. So when Frank said he couldn't get the Paige Evans papers, all of them, and etc., etc., I started searching around online, and I found this company called the Scrapbook Superstore. And you could just dot com it, Scrapbook Superstore, and they had all but one of the Paige Evans Halloween collection. So I was able to complete the entire collection minus the one page. Um, you know, that, that I couldn't get. And some of them I got doubles. They're double-sided. This is such a fun, pretty collection. I have some more of this coming in by a way of um, eBay, but it's not the any paper. It's just a binder that goes with this collection. So that I'll share when I get it. So I picked up a few of each of that that I really liked and then one of some of the others. And what I really liked about this um, company was it shipped fast for one. And then for two, um, they were kind enough to just show me here which one wasn't available, which was this one right here. And then they showed that they refunded me, which I thought was really nice of them to do it that way. So anyway, now I'm done. That is everything I have to share with you until I get some mail in in the next day or so. Woo! I have a lot to put away, a lot to think about, and a lot to not buy anymore. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Until next time, do what makes you happy. Bye for now.